Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and a little bit of macro level analysis. If you guys like the content, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to 75,000 subscribers. Also, check out the Telegram channel if you're looking for a community to talk crypto with. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the reason, the reason we're gonna do this video is because we just wanna take a look at some pretty simple uh, imaginary lines, if you will, that we can draw on our chart. So it's just so simple that, that maybe it's useful. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take a line from this bottom to the next bottom and extend it. That's all we're doing, okay? Bottom to bottom, extend. Now, the interesting thing is that if you draw a line from the bottom in September of 20, 2010, to the bottom in November of 2011 and extend it out. We're just looking at the candles. We're not looking at the wicks. You extend it out, what do you notice? It goes straight to that top in 2013 and straight to this top in late 2013, okay? So that's the first one. The second one is over here. Now in this one, we're going to start from here because we got to start from the bottom from the prior cycle and take it out to the next bottom. Now we know that this was the bottom, okay? This was the bottom. Uh, we had a wick all the way down here. So if we draw it through that candle, it takes us basically right to the top. Now, the first thing you might say is, well, this one, this candle looks to be lower, but in fact, the wick on the other candle was our bottom. So you can see this one was actually our bottom. It was much lower than this one. Sometimes this logarithmic regression band can uh, mess with the mess with your eyes in a sense, making you think that these ones are in fact lower, but you can see that this, this candle body here is the lowest one and it's lower than all the other ones as well. So I just wanna clear that up. So if you draw from bottom to bottom and extend it out, you hit that top, and then that top. Then the next cycle, bottom to bottom, just looking at the candles, you hit, surprise, the next top, okay? <laughs> Let's do it again. Well, why not? Should, or should you guys, should we stop right here and, and call it a day? Um, let's go for the next one. So bottom to bottom. Extend it out all the way out, 2020 20, what, 30, 2023, somewhere in that ballpark, um, you get around an $86,000 Bitcoin, okay? Um, and that's simply, that's simply measuring from bottom to bottom, et cetera. Now, the thing is, of course, is you can easily redraw these lines to slightly spin a slightly different narrative, of course, right? You could you could slightly adjust this one up, right? And say, instead of looking at, if we zoom all the way in, um, you know, trying to hit the bottom of that candle there, extending it all the way out, something like that, okay? Now, the first thing you might say is, well, we're above it, we're, we're already ahead of schedule. Well, that's true. We have been in the past as well. There, you know, if you, if you look right here, we were ahead of schedule for a while, in 2019, we were ahead of schedule for a while. In 2020, maybe 2021, of course, we'll also be ahead of schedule for a while. Maybe this analysis is complete garbage. Maybe maybe it is. Um, but I just thought it's interesting, right? This is, it's nothing more than a, a, a note, right? Bottom to bottom ultimately led to the next peaks. Bottom to bottom extended out to this peak bottom to bottom, if you extend it out all the way, it might lead you to a peak of around 100K. Uh, and of course, note that these are just looking at candles. We can easily have wicks much higher. And for all we know, this analysis will break down on the third test, okay? It could break down on this test. We don't really know. I just thought it was an interesting pattern that if you just connect the bottoms of each market cycle, they ultimately yield the next peak years later. And if you look at, say, a measured move from this bottom to the peak, and we're going to go all the way to the wick, which is higher than the candle, 
It was around 64,000% move over 763 days. This one was around a 10,000% move over 1,100 days. Um, so if we were to extend this out and say if we went another you know 10,000% or something, which I don't think we will, uh, but if we did, it would put us at you know a several hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, and that's assuming that's assuming we don't have diminishing returns. Okay, if we do have diminishing returns, then we would expect this to continue to extend out and and you know look something maybe like that, where we get ahead of schedule sometimes, like 2019. Um, we get ahead of schedule again, but maybe ultimately it, it takes us a lot longer to get to the top. And this is obviously a more bearish scenario uh, with with the market sentiment right now. Of course, it, you know, good luck, good luck trying to um, you know get anyone to believe this type of analysis. Of course, but as always, we're just looking at trends, looking at at past cycles, extending them out. So if we do continue on up. And, and continue on up essentially monotonically in terms of the price of Bitcoin, then great. Uh, we, I, I assume we all stand to do quite well in that scenario. On the other hand, if we do come back down over the next few months and, and, and cool off for a little bit before heading back up, I'd say it's completely normal and we're all just getting buckled up for the market cycle. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also check out the telegram channel which you can find a link to in the description below remember we also do have the premium list you can access the holiday sale in the description below make sure you sign up before the prices go up you'll get access to a pretty large community um, a private telegram alerts channel a private telegram chat room a risk dashboard uh, weekly reports weekly videos we go over a lot of special topics on those videos that we don't cover here so if you're wondering, you know, what, if there's certain things you'd like me to talk about more, a lot of times I do talk about them. It's just like reserved for the people on the premium list. So make sure you check out the holiday sale in the description below. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate your guys' support, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.